Let's talk about how to prevent losing muscle during the intermittent fasting process. Okay, this is a, it's a very important topic and controversial. A lot of people are going to disagree, agree, but I'm going to kind of break it down in this vlog, exactly what I've understood, understood by it, and also some newfound information that I've, I've recently discovered and been experiencing. Um, you know, I go like a 20 hour fast very often times, you know, uh, even, even 21 hours, 18 hours is common, but I want to talk about exactly how to prevent losing muscle, because that's a big controversy. Doesn't the muscle go catabolic? Doesn't it start, uh, you know, going and eating itself? I mean, during this long fasting period, and it's a very good argument. So let's talk about exactly how to, how to prevent that from happening and actually create muscle gains during intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting and why we do it? So intermittent fasting is putting intermittent amount of stress on the body, a little bit of stress on the body, so that the, restricting the body from food for an intermittent short amount of time. Okay, so intermittent fasting would be skipping breakfast, you know, even skipping lunch and pushing it out. Not starving the body, but just pushing out those meals. So for me, the first step of intermittent fasting was getting to like a 15 hour fast. Then an 18 hour fast. And then now a 20 hour fast, very commonly. And then eating only four hours, okay? So that's intermittent fasting. And the purpose of it is the health, the health benefits of it are tremendous. All right, the health benefits are tremendous. Allowing the blood from the body to go out in other areas, into the brain, into the muscles for body healing, right? Um, it's tremendously beneficial, there's no doubt about that. But the one thing that can be a, a, a concern is if you're doing, like, if I'm doing like strenuous exercise, weight training and setting PRs, and I'm doing intermittent fasting, well, wouldn't the muscles just start uh, becoming catabolic and, and, and fueling on themselves? And I, I mean, I agree, I think they would, okay? So, after talking to Wendy Sebastian, she really opened me up to this and kind of like the importance of having leucine in the diet, of having the amino acids in the diet on a regular basis when you're going to do extended fasting like this. So if, if I'm going to be fasting for, let's say, 18 to 20 hours, I want to add in the whey protein concentrate, you know, throughout the fast. I mean, I'm going to try to, I'm starting to add it in like twice a day before, while I'm fasting, say before training and after training or maybe even a little before that, just so I make sure like, I'm kind of a listening to my body, I wanna make sure that I don't feel, I just wanna, you wanna, I wanna listen to my body at that point, make sure that I'm get, giving the muscles the fuel that they need. Not just like on a habit, but being aware that every four to six hours, you know, it is important, you know, to, it's gonna be, the muscles are gonna be used to having some sort of fuel, they're gonna be looking for a refuel, and they're looking for leucine. And that's in the whey protein concentrate, specifically in that cold processed uh, whey protein concentrate from, from grass fed cows. So uh, first of all, let me just clarify the purpose of like this video and like what this channel has become right now. And it's becoming like helping to develop a lean, healthy, aesthetic Greek God physique. When I say Greek God physique, it's like the measurements for a Greek God physique. Perfect balance between the arms and the chest, you know, and the, uh, and the waist measurements, lean and aesthetic. Now, if it's your intention to uh, to be a 250 pound guy, you know, to be huge, to be a, to be like in the NFL or a professional bodybuilder, yeah, I, I just don't think the intermittent fasting process is a good idea. I don't. I don't think it's a good idea at all because what I've recently understood more of and, and is that the muscles they desperately need leucine and they need leucine like every four hours. Let me tell you a bit of a story. So recently I went to see a Wendy Sebastian, I think you can see, find her website, wendysebastian.com. She was a professional uh, f uh, fitness competition model, okay? So she knows a lot about, about health and fitness and getting lean and being healthy. And she doesn't agree with intermittent fasting for bodybuilders. And, and the reason being is because of the fact that the muscles need leucine every four hours. I, I, I have no way to prove whether that's true or not, but I just know from my experience, I definitely feel that when I provide the leucine, like in the raw, the raw whey protein from grass-fed cow, cows, cold processed, I definitely feel more of a charge. Uh, so I just want to clear, you know, give a clear intentions as to kind of what I'm doing in this channel. So if it's your intention of getting lean, building muscle slowly over time, um, you know, then you're going to get a lot of value here. You know, it. it, it, it 
I'm just, I just, I'm not a big fan of the up and down yo-yo, building, lean, or bulking, lean cutting, bulking, cutting. I'm, I like to look lean and shredded all year round. I believe that being lean is more valuable than being buff. Okay, that's just my personal belief. Being like huge, I just, I, I believe it's healthier. Okay, I think there's tremendous health benefits from being lean. So that's my first intention. Now, am I am I the strongest guy ever? No, I mean I'm not. I mean honestly, I I am I was I've been plateauing at 165 for five reps on incline press. You know, I'm doing like 115 for four reps on standing barbell curls. Four reps max. My arms are two inches short of, of a Greek god physique. My chest is two inches short. So you may be a lot bigger than me and a lot stronger than me. You know, I, I made a lot of comments about that, and now that's totally understandable. But I, I just started training on flat bench press my first time this last week ever in my life. So I am not the strongest guy out there. Greg O'Gallagher and these guys. I mean, Z's, of course, these guys are way stronger than me, way bigger than me, and and, and that's okay. But I'm, I, I do have a, a very good understanding with how to stay lean and shredded and aesthetic, okay, while building while building muscle. So. I want to clarify a little bit of, of the what's happening what I learned from Wendy Sebastian when the purpose of recording this video and getting this information out to you now is that so you don't make the mistakes that I've made because I say for the first six months of training doing the intermittent fasting you know I didn't know this information and so I would do the 18 hour fast train have no no amino acids have no whey protein concentrate and just um, I, I think it I think it actually cost me muscle gains um, I still I still gain muscle, but I think I, I could have done I could have gained more muscle faster had I had, had I known this information. Okay, so if you're if you're doing this this extended fasting, the 18 hours, the 20 hours, where the human growth hormone really starts to kick in at 20 hours and 21 hours, be 100% aware to listen to your body and realize that, that the body's going to tell you. I mean, it's like, hey, you know, I need I, I need amino acids. I need leucine right now. So you want to have the the whey protein concentrate, uh, you know, available. So you just take that in with water, you know, 20 grams, 25 grams. I mean, even a little bit less, something to give the muscles a break so they're not becoming catabolic, especially during the extreme training days. But I think even on the rest days, it's important. Even on the rest days, to hitting that the amino acids. Um, you know, from the whey protein, I really believe it's even important on the rest days as well. You know, definitely at least once, if not twice. So, I just, I just believe if your, if your goal is to gain muscle and not gain fat, I really believe that's an important element that I just want people to understand that I don't, I'm not the end all source for this information. Okay, I just know from experiencing it and then hearing more from Wendy Sebastian in person about what her her testimony was about it and why she doesn't do intermittent fasting because she doesn't. Well, it, it was she doesn't do it for a number of reasons, but that's the answer. If, if you do believe it, like I do, then we need the amino acids. Our muscles need the amino acids, okay, during the fasting periods. We can't go extended long, long periods of times without giving them amino acids. Otherwise, the mus muscle growth is gonna be very, very difficult to achieve, if not impossible, even with the gains. All right, so if you like this video, hit the like button. So thank you for all the new subscribers. Thank you for all the comments. Remember to leave a comment on the video. I'll read all the comments on the videos and I can I can answer them if you have a question, like a valid question, you know, about about something I can I can answer it for you. I can definitely answer it. You know, I'm not going to answer questions like that are that are like have nothing to do with this, you know. I mean, unless they're like valuable to other people, like I'm not going to answer questions about my personal life you know I mean you want to get to know me I'll get to know you personally but don't ask me questions about my personal life or things it's like that's just kind of insulting I, I love you guys for it but just, I think maybe there's a lot of those other videos that had so many comments coming in I'm not, I'm not gonna respond to questions that are not related to helping other people you know giving personal information that's not helping anyone so I want to I provide valuable information that's gonna help others so that your questions and a question that somebody else may have and then by me answering it in another video, it could also provide tremendous value out there to the next person who may watch the video. And that's kind of the idea. So definitely leave a question like that. I'm happy to do it. If you're in the Bay Area, San Francisco, I'll meet you in person. I'd love to uh, meet some of the meet some of you guys in person. Just feeling incredible right now. Charge. I just finished the liver and gallbladder flush right now. I have a vlog that is uh, just about done. I'll, I'll get it out there soon uh, regarding my experience with flushing out now over 60 stones from the liver for the third time. Did a 36-hour fast during this process, and it was incredibly, uh, 
it was powerful, man. It was it was it was amazing. Uh, getting the toxic waste out of the body. It's like you, a river can run. You know, a river can run through muddy water, and it can run fa it run fairly good through a muddy water. But when the muddy water is cleared out, the river can just flow, and that's kind of like what's happening in the body with the blood. When the the muddy water in the liver is cleared out, like what I've just done, the blood now can flow through the body. You know, at full optimum levels. I'm thinking clear. I have more energy. I'm not as tired. Wake up. You know, jump out of bed. I just feel great already. That's kind of the purpose of doing this liver and gallbladder flush. I mean, it's one of the best, it's maybe the best thing ever anyone could do for their health. So, tremendous value here. Hopefully you like this video. I believe uh, it'll help you if you did. Leave a comment, hit the like button. Done.